Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Bless his holy name. As I'm sitting here at work this afternoon, it's midday, about one o'clock, I just felt so grateful and honored to be a part of the kingdom of God. Um, I realized that I did not have to be here. I realized that I did not have to uh, be saved, but because he loved me so much, I want to encourage somebody that God loved you. The Bible says in John 3.16 that God loved uh, us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that is certainly a word of encouragement. I'm glad that, that, that I was part of the whosoever. And guess what? You who are out there on Facebook and YouTube or wherever you're at in the world, you can be a part of the whosoever. And that that is a great love that only our God can give. And because he loved us so much, he also did not leave us comfortless, the Bible tells us, but he sent the comforter in the person of the Holy Spirit. And that person gives us the power and authority over this realm, over this earth, according to the Father's will. And we need to understand that. I was talking to a pastor, uh, my pastor, uh, Pastor Laura Klein, even this afternoon, and we were talking about, or this morning, I'm sorry, we were talking about uh, the will of the Father, and we cannot exercise our will over the will over the Father, and oftentimes we try to exercise our will over the will of the Father, but we have to be careful not to use faith as an excuse to exercise our will over the Father, because it is still, let thy will be done uh, here on this earth. So God, we are grateful and we are thankful that you have sacrificed your only son, that we may have life, everlasting life that is. And that doesn't mean that uh, because we are in this world, uh, things are going to be perfect because we are saved. But what that means is that I have a perfection coming to me. That means that in the everlasting life aspect of my life, I will be with the Father and things will be perfect. It may not be perfect here on earth. I may not have all of the money that my neighbor has. I may not have the big house that my neighbor have. But guess what? I have everlasting life. And that is a richness that money cannot buy. That is a, a richness that a status quo cannot buy. That I, I, the, my, my, my title doesn't mean nothing. But, but I want you to understand and know that that richness, that everlasting life that I will be in the bosom of the Father means more than anything that uh, this earth can provide. Whether it's my health, whether it's my fan, finances, whether it's my family, whether it's my marriage, the everlasting life supersedes anything that I can experience in this earth. So I want to encourage you with that. Know that God loved you so much. He thought about you before you were even born, before you were formed into your mother's womb, and he sent his son to die. Yes. Point to yourself just for you. So I thank you for listening. God bless you. Love you guys. May heaven smile upon you. Be blessed.